Let's read the future. Pick a color. Blue. B-L-U-E. Pick a number. Four. One, two, three, four. Another number. Seven. It's the sleepover swap, y'all. Hello there, my Nessie Cakes, and welcome back to my channel. Today is another fun-filled day because it is time for another swap, but not just any swap. Oh, no. This is the slumber party swap, hence why I'm in my glasses and also in my Minnie Mouse onesie. Isn't this one adorable? Look at the vintage hat, polka dots, and I may or may not be sitting on a tail. I absolutely love it, but it is a little bit hot, so I am going to drop the hood Woo, just a little bit, get some air. Anyway, like I said before, guys, this is the sleepover swap. I am so, so excited to get into it because this is my girl, Jessica, from Fab Five Box Alert Swap, okay? She is our hostess with the mostest, and she put this together with some wonderful, wonderful girls. This is an all-girls swap, and I will leave every channel that is participating linked down below because trust me guys every single one of these girls is amazing and you're absolutely gonna love their content but enough about that i want to get into this box that it is sitting in my lap now i did look at the return address and it looks like my person is one of my favorite people ever it is nikki from a Disney darling, darling. Every time I say her name, I have to say it like Cruella. So Nikki, darling, my darling, thank you so much for this. I really do appreciate it in advance. I have not looked inside this box, but I am so excited. I went ahead and pre-cut it so you wouldn't see me fumble. So let's go ahead and get into it. She went ahead and used a recycled Magic at Your Door box, which is totally fine because I've actually never had a Magic at Your Door box, like, at all. So it's kind of nice to kind of pretend like it is. Let's get into it. So we open it up and, oh, oh my gosh. It's already starting, guys. A look at the majesty, the artistry, the, the sheer awesomeness of this. It says on the top of the flap, welcome to the 90s slumber party. <laughs> now, I'm actually, I was born in 81, guys, I know. So when we were curating these boxes, Jessica wanted us to put a little bit of things that uh, reminded us of slumber parties when we had them when we were younger. And I'm talking junk food, movies, board games, uh, music, maybe some beauty items, because, uh, you know, you do each other's hair, makeup, nails. Oh, my gosh. I had a ball. I kind of wish it was still back. But the funny part is, is that she also had us add our crushes at the time. Now, when I told the girls who my crushes were, nobody knew who I was talking about. But that's okay. I am a little bit older than these girls, but that's fine. I just got to learn. I got to teach them. I got to learn them. They need to know. Okay. My crushes at the time were River Phoenix. Oh my gosh, River Phoenix left us too soon. And Jonathan Brandis, another one that is no longer with us, but I absolutely love him. It'll never ever change. Let's get into it. Ah! Oh my God, look at what's on top, guys. A boa. Oh, see, this is why I call her. Uh, Nikki darling. She knows that I just live and breathe for anything extra. Look at these colors too. I love me some jewel tones and it is perfect for the month of June because June is Pride Month. I will be rocking this again. So she added a little card here and it says open first and you know I do what I'm told so let's get into it. All right and it says here the year is 1990. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is, oh man, 1990, I was nine years old, just to give you a reference, okay? It's a young Nessie's 10th birthday party, give or take. I was born in July, so it would just depend. Uh, is, and her birthday party is, of course, a slumber party, because that's what all the cool kids are doing. She's not wrong. And on the bottom it says, Dear Nessie, enjoy your slumber party. Ba uh. Oh, sorry. It's a little bit crooked, so I'm just trying to make sure that I read this right. Okay. Dear Nessie, enjoy your slumber party. I hope... Oh, your slumber party B-Day. Hope... I hope you... Um, 
enjoy this as much as I did creating it. I hope it can be an experience for you. Open up all of the items in the box in order. Have fun, love Nikki. So we do what we're told here, Nessie Cakes. So let's open this in order. But before I get into it, the stuff that's on top, let's get into the deliciousness that she is showing me here. Okay, so first of all, we have a big bag of sour rainbow rings. I love these. I remember as a kid stretching them out a little bit and wearing them all as rings on, like, on my hands and then just eating them off my hands. I know now it's a little gross, but back then it was pretty awesome. So these are going to get devoured. Thank you, girl. Next, we have a bag of Kit Kats. I love me some Kit Kats. So, yes, God. Thank you. And a bag of Snickers. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, all of the candy food groups are accounted for. Okay. We got our chocolate and our chewy base pectin treats. So, already she is nailing it. Um, oh, look on top. It is a pen. It's, it's blowing because of my fan. It is hot in here with this uh, onesie on, guys. But it's a cute little pinwheel. I absolutely love this. And I always love me some new pens. So thank you, girl. I really do appreciate it. I absolutely love it. It's going to live on my desk. And oh, to go with the pen, look at this. It is a Lisa Frank coloring book. You better shut up. Oh, my God. I haven't seen Lisa Frank in years. Oh, and inside, Lisa Frank, st Lisa Frank stickers. Oh, my God, guys. I am, I'm sorry, guys. Let me give you an earbud or headphone warning now because there's going to be a lot of us and yelling. Look at these nostalgic beauties here. I am ta talking. It has, the, it has the golden retriever. It's got the unicorn. It has... Uh, the the cheetahs, the polar bears, a couple of new characters too. I don't remember there being a little deer, um, or uh, or a snowman. But that's totally fine because I will definitely use these up. Look at the majesty these are. Oh my gosh, I love, and the coloring book. Yeah, oh, yes. I mean, if that doesn't scream '90s nostalgia, I don't know what does. I am definitely gonna have to. Do a few pages. Maybe I'll post them up on Instagram. Maybe even do a color live with me. That would be a lot of fun. Look at that. <gasps> Thank you, girl. Okay, so they are so many boxes in here. I'm sorry, I almost knocked over my little table. There are so many little boxes in here. I do not know where to begin. But, oh, good. She numbered. Thank God for that. Okay, so the very top. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 I'm going to have to probably pull these out separately because she has this box, this box packed really well, really, really, oh, and a beverage to enjoy. I love Dr. Pepper. Thank you, girl. That is everything. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, this first one says, number one, uh, you need this to be able to start your party off right. It feels soft. Mmm. What could it be? Maybe another set of jammies, another onesie, maybe? I don't know, let's see. <gasps> Shut all the way up, it, it, oh, 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 oh no, oh my God, oh my Jesus. Oh, there's a present in it. But first, <gasps> it's a new onesie. It's a new onesie, I don't have this onesie. Oh, it is red, polka dot fleece, says Minnie got the ears and the bow and look at the zipper pull this is so good oh my god thank you girl does it it has pockets y'all i mean right there thank you for the box i'm ready to end this video until no i'm kidding <laughs> but that is amazing thank you girl i cannot wait wait to put this on I am so happy. Okay, so the one that was inside number one, number two, number two. No note, just says number two. And what could these be? This could be a nice pack of fluffy, delicious, park-friendly villain socks. And we have got the evil queen. We have got my girl Cruella, darling. We, oh, my man, 
Hades. Let's see, who else? Oh, another Cruella. Great, it's always nice to have backups. <gasps> Scar. And the last one is Miss Maleficent. Everything, thank you, girl. That's gonna look so good all together. Okay, so now I gotta look for number three. Uh, ah, number three, this one right here. Oh, look, <laughs> from the boa, some plumage. Number three, this is the thing that you do to kick this party off right. P.S., your guests will probably talk you through this. Hmm, I wonder what that can be. Maybe a game? I don't know, it kind of looks like a movie, doesn't it? Like, or DVD? It could also be um, maybe a skinny book. Let's see. Yes, God! Oh, you better, you better work, Nikki. Oh my God, I cannot wait until this uh, video is over. I am going to scream at her on her DMs. <gasps> Shut up. Okay, so number one, the one that I kind of freaked out about is a John Hughes collection of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Some Kind of Wonderful, and Pretty in Pink. Oh my God, you need to stop, I live. These three movies, they're iconic. I mean, how can you not? <sighs> Amazing. And the other one that I kind of hollered at is the complete first season of everybody's favorite best friends, The Golden Girls. Ah, uh, right now, if the Disney ginger Brittany is watching this, she is losing her mind going, yes! But these are my girls. We have Dorothy, Rose, Sophia, and Blanche in all of their glory. Now, Nessie Cakes, my favorite, you might know this, has, will always be Dorothy. I absolutely love the shade that she just throws on all these women. Even her own mother, it's amazing. Thank you, ah, this is, this is so good. Okay, number four, number four, does not have anything. I love the paper though, she is Lisa franking me to death. All right, number four is, shut up. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. We have beauty items. So number one, we have a peppermint leg mask. I have never tried a leg mask before. Oh my goodness. Apparently it's for cooling, reviving, clings to the skin, suitable for daily use. So I guess if you have tired legs and calves, this is perfect. I'm gonna take that with me to Disney World this year. So thank you, and it's peppermint. The second one is Pink Fizz T-Zone Bubble Mask. Ooh, I've seen these. These are the ones that kind of like bubble and kind of crust up, and then it kind of just flakes and peels off, but it's supposed to be really good for like clogged pores and blackheads. So uh, Pink Fizz is uh, with sweet tea extract. All of these are from Korea. These are amazing. The next one is a brightening watermelon sheet mask, just a regular sheet mask, also made in Korea. Look at the little panda on top. It's so cute. And then the next one is a pair of exfoliating foot socks, which are eucalyptus oil and granular wal uh, walnut shell. Ooh, I wonder these are the ones that do the peel. Like, I know, guys, it looks gross. I've seen the videos. It looks so gross, but at the same time, so unbelievably satisfying. Yes, your girl Nessie is one of those girls. I cannot, I can't look away. Unless it has something to do with like uh, toenails or maybe teeth, I can't. I can't with that. But like um, maybe a, a pimple popper video or like uh, the peel videos or like um, uh, maybe somebody uh, pulling out like um, a, a clogged pore full, filled with like ingrown hairs. I don't know why, guys. My husband thinks it's gross. My mom thinks, everybody thinks it's gross, but I just find it so unbelievingly satisfying to watch a foreign something come out of the body. But I don't get grossed out very easily when it comes to like things like that. Like I even watch surgery videos. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'll stop. Okay, so at the bottom of the box, ooh, we have a sleep mask and it's super pretty. Also on par with the Lisa Frank. I am living for this Lisa Frank thing. I am definitely gonna be using this because I actually use these a lot, really. I take them with me when I travel because hotel room curtains are the devil. I don't, I don't care who you are, I'm sorry, but they are. So I always bring these with me when I travel. I always have an extra one in my guest room just in case, and then I have one in my bedroom 
you never know, right? I have I have two cats, and they move curtains, and I, I cannot sleep with light on. So thank you, girl. This will be used. Next thing, okay. Uh, what number were we on? Oopsie doodle, I think I forgot. Was it four? It was four. It was five. Okay, so we're supposed to be doing number five, and this is number five. Ooh, look at that color. I love purple. Purple's my favorite. Oh, she taped. Where's my implement? All right, implement up. Cutting the tape. See, when I get excited, guys, I start sing-songing everything. It's weird. All right, so purple box. Inside the purple box is... <gasps> First of all, she put toys for my cat, okay? So my cats actually love these craft, like, fuzzy pom-pom balls. They love them, and I just ran out. They like to fetch these. So thank you, girl, for that. But she used them as filler to put these amazing nail polishes in. Yes! Let's see the colors that she picked. Now, I got this really pretty top color. These are from um, LA Colors, and it's got these pretty little confettis. And as you can tell by my hands in the close-up, I didn't put on any polish, but now I have some. So I got this pretty little confetti one. Thank you. And then I got, ooh, this really pretty, pretty pinky kind of coral color. Love that. Um, oh, it's, oh, it actually has a name, but I cannot pronounce it. Ranuculus. I, I wish I was kidding, guys. R-A-N-U-N-I-C-U-L-U-S. You pronounce that for me. I can't. Okay. This one here, we got a nice little top coat that hardens, and it's also a rapid dry. Very handy. Thank you. And the next one, oh, she just knows my colors. Look at this color teal. I love a teal or mint moment in the summer, so this is perfect. Thank you, sis. All right, number five. Whew, I'm starting to get tired, guys. Wow, she is overwhelming me. Next one is number six. Another cheetah one, and this one says, this was always my favorite part of a sleepover. Ooh, I wonder what it could be. Maybe um, a CD, maybe some music. She likes a bop. <gasps> no, she does not like a bop. She likes to beat her mug, put on her makeup, and look at this. I wanted this so bad. I posted this on my uh, Instagram stories. Girlfriend got me the Barbie ColourPop Malibu Barbie palette. Shut all the way up. I can't with her. Look at this. Let's, let's get into it. I usually do, like, I'm going to have to do a swatch video for this, but just to get into these colors, look at that. There's emboss, a uh, little, like, die cut embossing of um, a palm tree, a, a rainbow, perfect for pride, and some hearts. I mean, if that doesn't scream Malibu Barbie, I don't know what does. That is everything. Thank you, girl. Man, she knows me so well. This community is everything. Oh, so stay tuned. I will definitely do a swatching video of this, okay? All right. Uh, let's see. Next one is number seven. And number seven says... It ain't your birthday without presents. Seven, eight, and nine are your gifts. Ah, you know, it is so funny that she called this my birthday box because my birthday, it's June now, guys, but my birthday is actually ne next month, and it's a big birthday. I'm going to be 40. I know. Your girl, Nessie Cake, is aging, and I cannot believe it. Like, seriously, like, sometimes... I, I honestly can't believe it because look at me. Look around you. I am a giant child. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's insane. All right, so first gift. It is... Oh, girl, this is a grail item. I don't know who... Oh, I love her. I love her. Thank you, Nikki. Oh, hang on. I just... I, I need to look at it myself, please, just for a little bit. But it is a beautiful Disney Lounge Fly jumbo pin of one of my favorite movies. It's The Rescuers Down Under. Oh, limited edition of a thousand. I am one. Oh my gosh. 
I am one of a thousand people that have this pin. Look at that. All right, if you guys haven't seen the movie, you need to see it, first of all. Get on Disney Plus right now. Stop this video, pause it, go on Disney Plus, watch it, and then you'll understand why. Let's get into these characters, okay? At the bottom, we have Jake, the kangaroo uh, mouse. We have Miss Ber uh, Bianca and Bernard. And at the very top, carrying all of them, is the great golden eagle, whose name is Marahute. Thank you! Oh, this is, uh, this is everything. Thank you, girl. I truly appreciate that. I know Jessica probably gave you a helping hand. She's my girl. She's my my fairy godmother, and I absolutely love her. So I have a feeling that she probably told her, oh, get her this. She's going to lose it. And she was right. Thank you. All right. Last two. Oh, so sad when these end. Number eight. But this was a great swap. Uh, this is actually my first time swapping with Nikki, darling. So I'm really, really happy. <gasps> I think I'm going to cry, guys. She's getting me right in the childhood fields. I actually had this pony when I was a little girl. This is a Funko Pop retro of Blossom, the My Little Pony. And I usually am an inbox collector, but not this time. No, no, no. I have to hold this. I haven't held an actual vintage My Little Pony in so long. Oh, and she is gorgeous. Her cutie mark on her hind end shows that her name is Blossom. I am so sorry for the glare, guys. But look at her. Exquisite! Look at that. She's beautiful. The only thing I wish is that, number one, all My Little Ponies came with a brush. So she should have came with a brush. She did not come with a brush and her hair should be real. But I'm glad that, you know, in a way that it's not because now nothing can damage this hair. Nothing can screw it up. And I was one of those kids that when I styled my ki my dolls or my, my little pony's hair, if anybody messed with it, I got a little bit mad because, I, you know, I this is how I wanted it to look and you're messing with it. <laughs> oh my God, I am such a brat. But that is everything. Thank you, girl. I am so, so happy. This is going to go right in the Funko Pop collection. Last thing. Mm. <laughs> but it was a great birthday surprise. Thank you, girl. I truly appreciate it. And this last thing is amazing. And I know exactly where she got it from, too. It's a make your own forky. This is actually, now I don't want her, I don't want you to think that I hate it or, or that I'm like, meh, I absolutely love it. Forky is my favorite character, bar none. But this is actually the third make your own forky that I actually have. I have one that my parents gave me. It was the very first one. I have one that Jess and Nico from The Princess and the Sith gave me. And now I got another one. But I'm not mad about it because I have the Jess and Nico one here in my Disney room. He, he's right over there. I have the one that my parents gave me in my kitchen. And now this guy, when I put him together and make him fabulous, is going to go next to my makeup station by the trash can because he is trash just like me. And that was the end of the swap, guys. Oh my gosh, this swap was everything. It brought back so many great memories. I mean, we have snacks, okay? We've got all kinds of snacks. We've got the beauty stuff. I have gotten the magical, um, <clears throat> the magical pin of dreams. I've gotten the ColourPop makeup that I wanted. I mean, look at these movies. Girl, I'm gonna have me such an awesome night. And it's all thanks to you, my Nikki darling. And Jessica, thank you again for inviting me into the swap. And make sure to please like, share, subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Give me a comment. Let me know about your favorite slumber party story. Like, what was the things that you like to do? What was your favorite snacks? Um, did you ever used to... Oh my gosh, I remember sometimes I used to get in trouble by... Uh, being too loud and the parents are trying to sleep and 
I didn't really have a lot of uh, slumber parties at my own home. I'd always go over to somebody else's home. So uh, Nessie's wreaking havoc in someone else's home. But that was great, guys. Thank you again, Nikki. I absolutely love you. You're going to get the biggest scream on the DMs. And until next time, guys, bye.